What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of ASAP Pet Info. This will be a quick pet room update, just all around the area. So as you've probably already seen, if you can see it in the background, I have no idea. But boom, I have got the sand for the planted tank. So the sand is just covering all the planted substrate. Um, so next step is to get um, a hood lighting for it. Um, got the filter running, cycling. Uh, water's still a bit cloudy. Hopefully that'll clear up. Um, so I'm not completely sure what I'm going to do in here. Well, actually, I think I have a list of all the fish I want to put in. Uh, let's see. Scarlet Betis, Bumblebee Catfish, um, Endler Live Bear, uh, Black Velvet Moscow Guppy, Ghost Shrimp, Assassin Snail, Nerite Snail, and Pygmy Corydoras Catfish. Um, plants? Not completely sure. I kind of want a banana plant. Those things are pretty cool. An Anubius Nana. Um, not, you know, not completely, complete, you know, 100% sure, but I want some, uh, dwarf hair grass. I want some, uh, Cypress Helifari. You know, just can't make up my mind with the plant, so please leave suggestions down below. Uh, so that's the big, big update in the planted tank. This is, I'm gonna try and make this a quick video. Alex Poseidon. Um. My room is a mess, you cannot see it. I need to clean it. Hold up. Um, Megan. Oh, guys, and yeah, I have some bad news. My bristlenose pleco died. I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's PetSmart, but you know, I've never had any luck with bottom feeder things, so, you know, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do but uh, you know crap happens I guess so I don't know if I should blame myself or blame the store or I have no idea um I'm not gonna show the crayfish just because you know it's not worth it can't see my desk and then recently I went out crawfish hunting well, let's just say I didn't catch any crawfish, but I did catch a salamander. Um, see if I can get... I don't know, you can kind of see him. He's like right here. He's a little baby two-line salamander. And got Goliath here. Um, and on my trip to catch him, I got all these, uh, rocks with, uh, algae on them. They're, the algae is really, really bright green. Just the camera and the lighting just sucks, so it kind of doesn't show up. Um, I've got all these rocks soaking, and... All, or it, it, at least most of them, are going in the planted tank. Not so sure about the river rocks. I might just buy some uh, more river rocks and get like more natural colored ones. I'm not sure yet. Got this little plastic plant, which I won't be using. Um, three rocks. I don't know if I'm going to put this white one in. I probably am. But this one and this one, definitely this one, very likely I'll use this one, maybe this one, I don't know. Don't know how I'm going to set it up, probably going to place the rocks tomorrow. Um, so they will actually, yeah, probably tomorrow at night sometimes, because they have a little bit more soaking to do. Of course we got the turtle. Here's the 
plate and the bowl I used to fill up the tank so I didn't disturb the water. Haven't really been showing the turtle very much lately, so I'll go ahead and take him out for you. Still doing cool, you know, still being a little turtle. Little face shot of him. But he's pretty good. Pretty cool. Um, so I'll put him back in here to live out his happy turtle life in his temporary tank. Okay, so that's all for the pet updates, but speaking of Snapping Turtle, uh, JW Heiser asked me uh, if I could do some form of like uh, tips or um, care guide of some sort for alligator snapping turtles, which I have never owned one, but I have done a lot of research on them, and I do know pretty much everything, you know, just at least all the basics. Um, so tank size, it's the same rule uh, with uh, common snapping turtles, and you know, it's the same. Uh, they need 10 gallons per inch. Um, so for an, an adult male, a very bare minimum should be 130 gallons, but I suggest, you know, at least 150. Um, and then for females, uh, they need, I'm trying to think, I don't know, a 200, no, blah, uh, 270 gallon is bare minimum for them. But, um, once again, you know, like, bigger is better, so I'd suggest a 300-gallon tank for a, an adult female. Um, places to buy alligator snapping turtles, I'm not sure about. You know, maybe you could catch a baby one whenever it's season. Maybe catch multiple babies, so, um, if you get, uh, a female, maybe you don't want a female because the whole giant tank issue then you know you can pick out the females and stuff. Um, feeding, uh, this is, you know, this is probably the most simple part. They, you know, just like common snapping turtles, they can eat a very wide variety of foods. You can feed them, uh, whenever they're babies, minnows, and once they're slightly older, bigger babies, then give them, a uh, uh, medium, like the smaller goldfish, and then of course move them up to bigger goldfish, and then once they're really big, then you, it, you know maybe you have a store that has extra large goldfish or something. But if not, then you might actually want to set up like some way for you to get like maybe some sun, like small, small sunfish and bluegill into the tank or something. I don't know. You know that's up to you what you want to do. Um, so what I suggest for, um, to keep them, I don't really know exactly how to phrase this, but you need to, uh, probably have three tanks on hand, maybe even four. So to start out with, I'd su I would suggest a 20 gallon for, uh, a hatchling, and then move up to like a 40 to 60 gallon, and then move up to, uh, uh, the full size tank. You can add another tank somewhere in there if you want, but uh, if you if you're on a bit of a budget or a lot of a budget, then you keep it minimum. Beside and splashing crap out of here, getting water everywhere on the wall. So I'm gonna leave him alone and show the planted tank a little more that has absolutely nothing in it. Sorry that cut out, but uh, I accidentally pressed a button and it messed up, but um, so that's, uh, you know, that's all the better, bigger, you know, bigger tips for uh, taking care of alligator snapping turtles. Um, they're definitely a cool pet, you know, I've seen somebody with their common snapping turtle, uh, and this thing is super, super tame. It, uh, 
lets her hold it and lets her sit like it sits in her lap like a dog and she has a monitor lizard and he walks right up to the lizard he doesn't even mess with it um so i guess that's about all i have to say and show um so as usual respect the hobby respect the hobbyist and most importantly respect the fish and i'll see you next time enjoy things uh try to have a video up of something soon so make sure you leave suggestions for fish cause you know I haven't 100% picked fish but I'm pretty sure so leave suggestions for that and then leave suggestions for uh, plants in the planted tank um, and leave suggestions for content you want to see on my channel uh, so comment, rate, subscribe and I'll see you next time